Gave him a light instead of a B Interrogated him on the street Yo, look like a smoker Show me your teeth You can meet in the park of your ends or mine This is my first time buying a G-Lock What's good everyone, this is Panther here. Today is the day that I finally bought a new car to replace the Polo. As you see, the Polo is still here and it is actually up for sale. So if you do want to go ahead and buy it, there's going to be a link in the description to my Instagram post, which has the post of the car. So if you do want to buy it, send me a DM and you guys can come view it. It's sitting here, it's all brand new, all clean. I'm just looking to change over the number plate so B21 can be got onto the new car which is right next to but you guys are not going to see that yet. So without further ado, I'm going to cut to the bit where Tom came and picked me up and took me to the dealership to go and pick up the car. It was recorded on the iPhone. Um, I didn't want to bring the camera in because I don't forget a bit funny about recording and stuff. But yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into the car with Tom, put some music over it and then we'll get into the dealership, pick up the car and then I'll cut back to me talking about the spec, etc. on the car that I've brought. And then the next video will be my first drive, POV drive in the new car. And we've got a lot planned for that car. So. Yeah, and also the Fabio will be up for sale as well. So if you want to buy the Fabio, it's only going for cheap. Let me know as well. But yeah, further ado, let's get into it. Let's get. Pressured by an Audi, bro. My man got pressured. <laughs> Shiny. That looks sick, yeah, thank you. No worries. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. He's happy with it, bless him. Alright guys, as you can see, I've actually gone for a Mark 7.5 Golf GTI. Now this is the facelift one, so it's a 7.5 over the 7. It's a 2 litre tier tier for Sire, the IS20 turbo from the Golf. Obviously, the Golf R has the IS38. Um, we haven't moved the plate over yet, so this plate will be probably gone almost by the time you see this video. I've now only picked up the car yesterday. I drove it last night out of car meet, and yeah, it's a big 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 difference towards the polo as i said the polo is up for sale as well if you do want to buy that but yeah let's get into the spec and uh, why i went for a golf over the cupra and the golf r let's get into it now towards the back it is just a normal 7.5 now the reason why i went for the 0.5 normal gti and not the performance one is because this has a dq 250 in it and the 0.5 performance has a dq 381 but as you guys know i don't get very good luck with gearboxes as the polos already had a new gearbox twice so i don't get good luck with gearboxes so i decided to go for the dq250 instead of the 381 because there's a recall on the 381 and i just don't want the drama we've got two year warranty with this as well shout out to the vw romford they're actually the sickest people so if you do want to get a car from vw go to the romford one nicest people there shout out to liam who actually managed to get me this car before anyone else even saw it so 
yeah but let's jump inside um, there's not too much to talk about on the outside it's just the standard 7.5 on the outside all the spec is in the inside so let's hop in and also the best thing about this is obviously i've got the key in my pocket now if i jump here here you go actually got keyless entry now so this is where all the fun happens now as you can see it's very low mode it's got 28,000 miles on the clock so it's super low mileage it all looks no no it's got the nice gti seats which i actually prefer over the performance one i don't like the black i prefer the classic gti seats they are prone to rip as we all know in the polo they rip quite a lot but yeah so as we jump in now we've got auto lights we've got uh acc which is adaptive cruise control which is quite cool and then you've got digi dash here it's keyless start and keyless entry in here you can just store your bits and bobs you've got the new screen this is the 7.5 updated screen and um, now if i start it as you can see it's got dj says welcome dsg panther as well so i changed the name um yeah man it just looks so much better in here compared to the polo don't get me wrong the polo is an awesome car this is just next level technology in here obviously i'm still learning about all of this you know and you've got sunglasses holder which is big for me because the polo doesn't have that so i think i just no, there we go i thought i broke but yeah so this is a massive upgrade for me it's a big difference to the polo obviously the polo isn't as well specced um actually that's a lie the polo is literally top spec apart from pan roof so this is essentially the same thing this is top spec without the pan roof and i can't lie i'm actually love it the climate control in here is sick we also have if you look guys look down here we have different modes so we've got um so you got eco which would be good for going to work etc as you see there it says dsg power when i change it there you've got normal so that's just if you're going to i don't know to meet but you don't want to be a sport and then also got sport there and an individual yep so here you can change like all the settings blah 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 you know all this stuff so i've just got steering normal i don't like it too heavy drive sport ac sport corner and light sport air conditioning normal and engine noise uh, sport we've got a lot of things to do as well cosmetically i know that um, i want to get paddles done from dsg mods as well we've got loads of dsg mod bits coming for this car so keep an eye out for that and in the back it's pretty standard like a normal golf yeah man like, it's got leds on these bits here it's got led strip down here you know it's just a big it's a much nicer place to be than the polo was as i said the polo there's nothing wrong with it but this is just so electric handbrake got parking sensors as well as a keyless entry traction off start stop off just the diddy dash and you can get all the menus on here as well um obviously i'm still learning if there's anything i need to know about this car Please let me know in the comments i'm still learning about these so this is 235 brake stock yeah it's it's a quick little car i know some of you guys are going to be like well this is just a golf gti it's similar to what you've got yes but at the same time it's much more reliable it's got more tuning capabilities which i don't want to get into yet but tuning will be a big factor in six months or so once the warranty starts to kick in there's not many problems with it I don't know if the thermostat housing has been done yet because I know they're common, but we've got two years warranty and two years service with this car as well. I don't really want to avoid that yet. Um, once the at least one year's gone, I might start doing a stage one um, and then we can get... It's not got a GPF either, which was a very good thing. I did not want a GPF with this car and it does fart pretty loud. Now, I will do a driving video in the next video and you guys can hear what the car sounds like. Then after that, the first mod I'm doing is res delete. It has to be done. It's not loud enough. Res delete and spacers, um, and then we'll jump into the body kit, tint in, etc. It's all going to come with this car. I want to take my time with it. I don't want to rush into it. I want to build the videos really well with this car. So, um, yeah, there's not really much more to talk about in this video, but this is the car that I have gone for. I love it, man. It, it's big boy whip. It is, it's a tank. I mean, 21 with a 7.5 Golf GTI. I, I couldn't be more blessed and thankful to everyone around me to have this car my work colleagues mum and dad you know everyone um friends support is you know yeah it's i can't wait so further ado i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it it was just a little walk around to show you guys the car etc it's got sequential indicators as well so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe as i said more content is coming on this car so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's got fresh pads and this on the back as well i forgot to mention that why did i not mention that but yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. We've got a Mark 8 Golf R video coming very soon with VW Romford as well. That's going to be sick. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the next YouTube video.
Peace. Let's get into it. Gave him a light instead of a beam Interrogated him on the street Yo, look like a smoker Show me your teeth If you meet in the park of your ends or mine This is my first time buying a G-Lock